hope you're all good. Today's video is just gonna be a little bit of a tour of the bookshops in Palermo. So I'm currently in Palermo, which is in Sicily, and I thought we could just have a little explore of the bookshops around here um, and just see what kind of books they offer. I thought it'd be really interesting. And obviously when I see a bookshop, I have to enter it. <laughs> So I just thought this little fun video, probably won't be very long, but I thought it'd be fun to have a little explore together and just have a look at what different books they have, what different translations they have. And yeah, let's go. So the first bookstore I visited was this one in Mondello, which is a beachside town, which you'll see more of in the vlog that's coming up the holiday. But I really liked this bookshop. It was the first one I went into, so I didn't really know what to expect yet. But I was surprised some of the books I saw House and Cerulean Sea is there. So yeah, it had a very like clean, minimalist uh, aesthetic, which definitely fit with the beachside location. And I just had a lot of fun looking around this one, seeing what they had. They had a few ones that I didn't really see anywhere else. Um, so yeah, really cool bookstore to start off with. Next we went to Mondadori bookstore which was on the main street near where we were staying and this is like a like a chain bookstore like a Waterstones equivalent essentially. One of my favourite things that I found the entire time that we were here was these editions of Miss Marple and Poirot I guess kind of collections of books so they were really big and they have the characters faces on the front and I was just obsessed. <laughs> If I could read Italian, I could justify buying these, but I couldn't. But I just think they are so gorgeous. I loved them so much. This was the fantasy section at the back of the store. I saw Catherine House, which I actually saw a few times. I didn't know Catherine House was popular in Italy. Uh, this edition of Jade City, so many of the editions they had had like sprayed edges and stuff. They're really beautiful. Um, I just found it so interesting to see what books, you know, you saw again and again. Six of Crows I saw a lot as well. It's really interesting to see which books are popular in different countries. I just found it so interesting. So yeah, again, I was super impressed with the selection that they had here. One that I just wanted to show quickly was this little, it's not even really a bookstore. They called it a bookstore though, so I suppose it is, but this selection of books at the botanical gardens that we visited. Um, yeah, I just thought they had a really cute book selection, a lot of kids books, a lot of just really beautiful books about gardening and plants. And yeah, I just thought I would include it, but there wasn't many here, so this is a pretty short section. <laughs> For the next bookshop, we had to go to the marina, which we were staying nearby, and this was actually mine and Tom's favorite place to walk of an evening. And we discovered this little bookshop there that was all water themed, essentially fishing, boats, anything water themed. They had books about it, both fiction and non-fiction. They had books flying, or I guess 
floating they're supposed to be watery <laughs> on the ceiling like in another bookshop we went to recently but it was really nicely decorated really interesting to see like a specialized bookshop like this me and Tom were saying you probably don't get stuff like this as much in the UK so yeah they even had like a kids section so it was such a unique little bookshop and um, I had so much fun exploring this one And then finally we went to this bookshop, which is another chain style bookshop. And they had so much. There was like two floors, I think, or th three floors in this bookshop. Um, they had blind date with a book, which is so fun. I've never actually seen that in like a chain bookshop before. So that was so fun. They had just such a wide array of stuff. They had Cersei, which I need to read ASAP. It's my book club pick for my patrons this month. Some more super cool editions of Agatha Christie. I feel like, Italy was just so lucky with their editions of Agatha Christie stuff. I'm like obsessed. Um, but yeah, another great selection. Lots of graphic novels, lots of YA at this one. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour of bookshops in Palermo. So there we have it, that was a little tour of bookshops in Palermo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe as always. I had so much fun visiting all of these and um, yeah, so many interesting editions of books. So interesting to see what translations they had. I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.